And so the challenge we've set ourselves at SWIFT in this context is to try and make this all work together. In other words, to make this diverse set of CBDCs work together with themselves and alongside existing payment systems, which will undoubtedly continue to exist for many, many years to come. And how do you actually join that up so that if I'm Nick in the UK and I have a digital pound, I can actually pay Dirk, who's maybe in the Eurozone and doesn't have a digital euro, right? How do you actually make that work? So we address this in a, in a few ways, and I won't get to the detail of this slide, but I think the key thing to take away here is we need to create interoperability. Interoperability between these different forms of money and interoperability between the different technologies that support them. We work on this in, a, in, a, in three different ways. One is to get involved in industry initiatives, uh, such as something called the Regulated Liabilities Network, or RLN, that you may have seen literature about. The second is that we join with the BIS and key central banks to experiment where they value our, our presence. And the third is that we initiate our own sets of experimentation to try and drive forward the collective knowledge of the industry. And last year, we uh, demonstrated a new experimental solution to be able to do what we call interlink CBDC network. So on this diagram, you see different, two different CBDC networks and a conventional payment system linked together at a technical uh, level. This solution, we believe, is potentially powerful because uh, it can allow a high level of automation and straight through processing of a payment, but also it is highly scalable because through connecting once to SWIFT's platform, that would enable uh, the, that domestic CBDC to be used for cross-border payments with, uh, with any other uh, payment system that's already uh, connected to SWIFT. This, if you're familiar with the literature, is a demonstration of what the BIS calls the MCBDC Model 2, or interlinking model. And in that sense, is, is kind of a hub and spoke, uh, similar architecturally to uh, the BIS's recent project, um, Icebreaker. <clears throat> 